Welcome back, guys, to another video. <clears throat> so today, I won an academy, and not today, but, um, like, almost two days ago, I won an academy, because for my birthday, I got, uh, two academy, um, what's it called? Gift cards. So I spent them on lures, and let me show you the lures that I bought. And stay tuned. We're going to go fishing this Sunday. Today's Thanksgiving, so all that are watching today, happy Thanksgiving. Sorry that I haven't been posting. So I'm going to be posting a fishing video. We might go to different lakes. I'm going to have like part one, part two, and part three. And I bought a uh, phone chest mount for I could put in my chest like if it was a GoPro, but I'm using my phone. So let's get started. I'm going to show you my um, fishing lures. Oh, guess what, guys? By Christmas, we're going to San Antonio, where I used to live, and I uh, I used to fish over there um, in a river, so I might go fishing over there for smallmouth. You never know, so stay tuned for that. We never know. Hopefully, we do go fishing over there for smallmouth, even though it's going to be super freezing cold, or, me, or we might just fish in a lake, so... Because I used to live there and we barely started fishing over there. So we became, me and my dad became better fishermen over here. Because uh, where I live right now is in Houston and there's more lakes. I live by Galveston so there's like more lakes and bodies of water for you to go fishing. So let's get started. So first of all I have a, ah, uh, look at myself, sorry. First of all we have a six cents uh, bluegill color uh, square bill. And I'm gonna show you for you right now. Malikin Fishing actually uses this lure and he crushed bass bass with this. You can see right there. It has pretty good color, six cents lure. Square bill. It has pretty good colors. So I can't wait to use this one down like by springtime. Right now is a good time for square bills. I'm showing you my new ones. Sorry, it's because I have a tackle box and all the hooks get stuck all together. I have this uh, deep diver, cheap, super cheap uh, deep diver. It has a brown bag chartreuse. This will good work good on rivers of dirty water. It's super cheap, so it's not like it's not a good quality. I just bought it because it's super cheap and I want to test it out. Like cheap lures versus expensive. That's what I want to do, so I just bought it. Sorry, I've been taking a little bit of time because all the hooks get stuck to each other and stuff. Yeah. I, I got this Booya. I think it's Booya. Yeah, Booya. Um, lipless crankbait. Colored gold. Super cool. Super cool little crankbait. I mean, lipless. I can't wait to use this one. All right. I actually have a white and chartreuse chatterbait. I mean, not chatterbait, uh, spinnerbait tied on my fishing pole. But I actually got two. I had, I got a little shad color spinnerbait. And this is from, um, what's it called? Mm, Booyah, too. I have a white and chartreuse spinnerbait. And I have a shad color spinnerbait. Because right now is the time for spinnerbait. That's why I bought it. And I think that's it for hard baits. Oh, and I bought some Texas rig uh, boa weights. Yeah. I actually bought these clips at Walmart for super cheap. And there's these clips. So you tie on. You have this thing. You tie that thing first on the line. And you just unclip these two. And you can put lures in back and forth. But you can just cut the line off, untie it, and untie. So I bought these for lures. But if you're using Texas rigs, I recommend I recommend taking this off and then putting Texas rig. So yeah, but I bought these. And I also bought um, some uh, shaky head um, uh, worm. Uh, shaky head hooks right here for finesse worms or senkos from KVD. So they're pretty expensive. Well, that's it for my tackle box. For like hard baits. Actually, I still have a little bit more of hard baits. Alright. As soon as I have two, I have uh, one tackle box and I have a tackle box for big swim baits and stuff. So I have a 5 inch uh, glide swim bait. Not, like I said, it's not the best quality. 
fits super good. This thing is gonna destroy, getting destroyed. It's gonna get destroyed five inch. And I have a four and a half inch Google swim bait, as you can see right here. It's pretty good. So yeah, I can't wait to use this one by the springtime when they're, cause it bass hate uh, bluegill on their beds during springtime, so I can't wait to use that lure. And let's get into soft plastics. I actually bought this line, it's called God Line, and it's pink braided line. I have it on my fishing pole, I just wanted to see that. I have these um, Suicide Shed Big Bite Baits Paddle Tail. That's pretty good. Let me take one out for you guys. Um, Alright. This is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's kind of pinkish right here. You can't really see it. But it's pinkish right here. Like or around cloth like that. Pinkish. And it looks pretty good. But yeah. I have those pedal toes. I can't wait to use these, these two. These looks, um, these look like they're gonna get eaten. So I can't wait to use this. All right. So the next soft plastic is a flukes. I wanna eat, I have a zoom fluke, a oh, salty super fluke bait fish. My zoom. Let me take one out for you guys. There you go. As you can see the color. Super good. Right here is actually darker than right there. You can't see it that well on camera, but yeah. Alright. What's next is um Cinco's. I actually have two packs of Cinco's. I have. Wait. Oh, I was like, I think they got mixed up, but no, it's not. Alright, these are super, super, super dark green pumpkin, like super dark. They look, for being, like, maybe not on camera, but like on personal, it looks like black and red flakes, but no, it's just super dark green pumpkin. It's a five inch shrink stick. Watermelon seed red, and it's super dark. So from uh, Big Bites. So I guess I would use this on dirty water. Oh, you can see it a little bit, but in person it looks super dark. So, and that's why I bought the little shaky head for these Seikos. So that's um, for our dirty water. And I have another pack of singles for uh, clear water. And it's a 5 inch tri trick stick kiwi from Big Bites. And this one's cool because it has the color of that one. And, and it has the color of this. So it's like half and half. So it's pretty cool. Alright, let's go to another soft plastics. I'm not sure if I have any more, but show you these because right now is a good time for spinner baits so uh, square bills and all of that so these these are good for flipping because right now is the time for like super weird critter things and that's where I caught a uh, two pound bass on it and uh, like not too long ago it's because it's super weird and stuff so right now is a good time and the water over there was super clear so I used these I was like oh okay I'm gonna try these threes are three and a half uh incredible Crawl watermelon red from a uh, culprit. Culprit. Yeah. Well, I think that's it, guys. So until next time, trust me, we are gonna go fishing. So I can't wait. So stay tuned. We're gonna go fishing soon. So whoever watching, happy Thanksgiving. 
be thankful of something that you have in your life and I'm thankful for my family and my new dog that I got because my dog that I have I just don't want to talk about it he just passed away I don't want to talk about how he passed away so yeah so I'm thankful for that <clears throat> look and I asked you about this IHV it says all the fish is from freshwater look see you got different bird varieties and you flip oh my bad we forgot one more you got different varieties I'm saying I got the bass right here okay and then if you flip it over you have more varieties so that's pretty cool I got this for seven dollars and it's waterproof so I just have this in my tag ball just in case I don't know the type of fish species so yeah so thanks for watching just stay tuned this Sunday wait for part one part two part three so just stay tuned till next time